Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm set up in a lovely campground and bringing you this video update from one of the places that I love best. I can hear the birds, it's absolutely amazing, and I'll show you all that in a different upload. However, today we're here to talk about van life and what has changed for me after the first 10,000 miles. So buckle up and let's go. Now on my channel you may have seen my no build van build video and if you haven't I'll link it below in the description description or in one of these corners right here. I started off for the first 10,000 miles with a complete no build. That means no screws, no nuts, no bolts, and just pretty much the stuff that I could find around the house or at the Dollar Tree. However, some things have changed and that was all made possible by the fact that I did the no build. The no build allows you to move things around and shift things kind of as you kind of evolve into your space. And so that was super important to me starting out. Now that I have surpassed that hump and can figure out exactly what kind of things that I'm needing, I've made a few changes. Now the interior layout has for the most part stayed the same. I still have my cot bed and then I kept this long aisle alongside so I can move a little bit more freely. It's a tiny little space guys. This is an NV200 so you have pretty much just a box to work with. So you have to get really creative. In getting creative, I have decided that I was going to upgrade a few things that were problem children in my van. Specifically, number one, the lights. You might remember from my first video, I have these wonderful puck lights and while they work great and actually have several color settings that I really like, they had a little bit of a problem when it comes to long term because they use batteries. So I was constantly having to replace the batteries and that can kind of be a problem. Not to mention, I had to put a little magnet on them to stick them to the roof. And the only magnets that I could find that would work with these lights were those little like rolls of fridge magnets and those were not the most sturdy. So I actually took some Gorilla Glue and updated those, but wait, it, it gets better. I also determined that solar would be a great alternative to having battery powered lights. So I actually have these lights now to work with and I like to keep things in their package so that it stows away nice and easy But let me show you what these look like. These are awesome Now as you can see the compact design is absolutely awesome for having a van where every inch absolutely counts And if you keep the packaging you can compress it even further, which is great Now what I like is it easily pops up can be turned on to three different light settings and it allows me to have light inside or outside of the van. So this is a great option, but wait, there's more. Then we have the origami light. This one is absolutely awesome because it has a lot of different uses aside from the pop-up light. This one actually has magnets on it so you can place it onto your van outside to give you a beautiful exterior light. Additionally, you can put this onto your picnic table and create a very nice place setting that has a little bit of ambiance. But something else that sets this one apart is you can actually charge this one beforehand or use the solar panels. It also serves as a power station for your cell phone. So it is a two in one. Definitely worth picking up. Now on my last build video, a lot of people were saying, why do you have one of those coolers as opposed to a fridge? They make them for vans. And while I knew that they did, I didn't at the time have a good power source. So you may have also seen that I did upgrade so that I could make that an option. And I picked up a Jackery Explorer 1000. Now I have been loving that. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out also. And I'll explain all of why I got that one but uh, mainly it's because I was wanting a fridge so as you can see where once there was a blue small cooler there is now a very large gray set power cooler and this is the AJ 40 now I wasn't sure if this one was going to fit or not it is a larger style cooler but it fits absolutely perfect up against my bed here let me show you from a different angle See from here you can see it fits just inside the door and just up against the bed and the vents are on this side so that means that I can in fact use this one in the van without it not being able to circulate. So check 
there's that. I'm super excited about that one. And I'm gonna be doing a full review of that one after I've used it for a little while. I just wanted to show you guys that I do have it and I am trying out some different things to see if it works for me in the long term. I absolutely have enjoyed it so far, but again, I wanna give you a long-term review on it. So check back on a later date. But just look at that guys, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? And then there's my Jackery right there. Yep. This has been the best addition to the van so far in way of being off grid. This little section right here. And just so you guys know, I also ended up buying the Jackery solar panels. So uh, again, that will be in the future as well. And right next to my Jackery, I also have a USB cord for another light solution. Let me plug this in and I'll show you. There we go, and on. Okay, so I wanted to add something that would be a little bit more subtle. So I added some fairy lights also. Now, a lot of people in van life use fairy lights, and I can see why after installing these. These give me the perfect amount of light without being quite as aggressive as the larger LEDs that are on the magnets. So these are nice for whenever I'm wanting to work, but don't want my eyes to be blinded or whenever I'm watching a movie or winding down. These have been awesome. And yes, I know my little ties are green. That will be changing. I mainly wanted to see if I liked them and I do. Now, in addition to lights and then also the fridge, I have made a couple of other modifications for organization. And those are things that I'll show you soon. I'm still testing a few things out, but organizing is a big deal when you're in a tiny, tiny space. So I found a couple of things that I'm checking out from a couple of other people who do van life. And if they work out, I'll present those soon. And perhaps the biggest elephant in the room is I changed out my linens. Now, if you watch the original build video, you'll notice that I had a lot of dark colors in my van. And that was mostly because I was still adjusting to having to be stealthy and hopping into the back without drawing attention to myself. I used a lot of like black and things like that. But again, very small space. When you add a lot of black to it, it gets very, very small looking. So adding a pop of color or something a little bit brighter can actually expand the space a little bit for you. And so that is what I have done with this next thing. Look guys, new linens and it looks so much brighter in here. Now I picked something that was a fun color that I really liked and I really like print but too much print in a small space also can get overwhelming. So I picked this nice solid that gives me a pop of color that I really wanted and expands the space but then I gave myself this little travel pillow right here which is actually one of my own designs. So this is kind of my new fun space and I really feel as though it expresses who I am a little bit better. Not to mention it does look larger in here. I know that that may seem like an illusion of grandeur but it really does seem a little bit larger because it's not just black. This is a really really good addition. Not to mention I did go ahead and upgrade my pillows to something that was a little bit softer and bigger but also I got rid of the black body pillow because it had gone flat. By doing that, it has improved my quality of sleep a lot. And then last but not least, I added a carbon monoxide detector. And I have it down here where it's a little bit more at the level of my sleep because someone told me that that would be the best place to put it. If you have a carbon monoxide detector and I should be putting it somewhere else, let me know. And again, I added that for safety because whenever you're in a van and it doesn't have a roof vent on it, you need to make sure that you're not just constantly inhaling all of that bad stuff. So this keeps me safe and I really like that. I have something else that I'm gonna be adding to also help in that, but I haven't gotten it yet.
Remember guys, starting off with the no build is a perfectly awesome way to start out, especially if you don't have any expertise. And then you can do kind of what I've been doing, figuring out what works best and what you need to tweak and change along the way. Whenever you get to figure out your personal needs, because no two of us are alike, it will feel a lot more personal and it will be exactly what you want, as opposed to building something just because somebody else did it and uh, it not working out. Till next time guys, bye. Oh yeah, and if you need any of the things that I mentioned in today's video, the links are in the description below. All of them. There's so many things in my van, guys.